This video goes out to Miles. That's their tier four Patreon request. More music from Made in Abyss and Kevin Pankin. This is Vo. I'm excited. Let's go. Wow. What a range. Wow, what a fascinating first two minutes of this opening. That was crazy. Um, man, the vocal range is very, very impressive. And that last little da, 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 that little whatever, that little descending triplet articulation, that gave me that gave me chills. Um, okay, in the beginning, it kind of felt like um we we're just getting our, our orchestral tuning note with the way the strings sound. And I was like, is this are we getting the beginning of a live recording session here? But no, it's just the development, it happened to be the tonal center of where we're at. But I have to say, the way all the supplemental sounds underneath um, swelled, crescendoed, and went away, very impressive writing. It was very um, delicate to the listening experience so far. And I felt like I got a mix of a little bit of low-end bass marimba tones there with our string bass sounds. I don't know. Um, it was somewhere buried in the first two minutes. We're not going to go back and dig through it because I felt like it was a pretty emotional listening experience. It was quite good, but orchestrally speaking, I, I'm not... Orchestrally meaning the way that the piece is orchestrated. I'm not surprised at all because we've listened to enough Kevin now to know that everything's pretty top tier. So let's just go back a couple seconds and then we'll just keep going and see what else we discover here. the vocalist sorry i should have read that much closer in the beginning Takashi saito oh my god i assume that's the vocalist that says featuring it's gotta be what an amazing style of singing it's very unique the rate like there's a lot of really great vocalists globally right that exists everyone for every instrument that exists there's a bunch of people that do it at a really uh, amazing level it's the style and the articulation sound and just the way this person is singing that sounds unique to me this is why it's such a different listen for me. You know, we're used to hearing amazing vocalists. I personally am not used to hearing this the way the voice sounds in this composition. So I'm really appreciating that. 
Uh, the drone, this the string sound is still there underneath in the beginning. Very low dynamic. And piano obviously taking the main role, role of accompaniment here and just supporting this amazing contour. Contour meaning the way the vocal line is you know, going, ascending and descending and just delivered to us. It's very impressive, man. Like, yeah, it's just cool. Yeah, it's very, very, very cool. Back a couple seconds. Let's keep going here and just appreciate this. I know you saw me hovering on that, trying to stop because I wanted to go back and talk and I couldn't interrupt that phrase. Oh my God, dude. The, ah, did you hear the low brass come in and the way that chord soared? Yes. All the vocal stuff was amazing, but that climactic point just hit you. It hit me right here, man. That is <laughs> the last minute. The last minute and eight seconds was unreal. Most replayed. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. Let's go like right here. Uh, not far enough. About the three-minute mark. Um, okay, we're going to stop a couple times within this section because so many good things are happening. Uh, oh, wow. Compositionally. All the stacked harmonies that are descending this nice passage. Meanwhile, the voice is in the stratosphere doing its own thing. Again, please and thank you again. And we keep moving with that. Now we echo back with a much higher string register ascending with the way against the equally impressive vocal line of thought. And now we join. Now that register up in the vocal line is joined by the strings. Very angelic. Very just cruising way up there. Little suspension resolution there. Now they tease us, right? You think you think this is a breaking point. We come down. The contour is now. And we've broken down dynamically here, and we're resolving. But we know we know we're going somewhere else, man. But we didn't know the first time. Pulling, schmaltzy. writing come on bro that that is like <laughs> i would never be able to think of that i just don't have a, i don't have a brain like that i can appreciate the hell out of it but man it's it's the way the horns come in and are coming in and playing they're very very in tune chords by the way which is beautiful to listen to uh yeah when, you, when you, someone that you spend so much time teaching in the classroom you know younger people you don't always hear things in tune so when you hear beautiful stuff like this it's like ah yes the way things are meant to be <laughs> But 
And that synth comes in against the string line. Sorry, I know we're stopping a million times. I just could not let this part go. There's so many tasty components happening. Check it out. Right here. God, that's killer. Let's go on. What an interesting way to feature that instrument. At, at first, that sound, however, we're thinking, you know, keyboard patch, funkiness on guitar, like most likely keyboard related stuff, but who cares? It doesn't matter. The idea is how cool and unique the sound is and just a complete departure, a hundred percent a departure to make that a feature after that style of voice. That to me, that's really cool. I love that it was buried in there. Like, it, let's just go back a little bit. Cause like it was super disguised down kind of at like the 430 ish mark. But then obviously it becomes this like almost like not a cadenza, but just just a little featured moment where that completely takes over. It's down there. But voice and strings are obviously still the uh, the focal point here. But now. So suggestive. Underneath though. gotta hit stop here because i mean oh my god dude i feel like the last time i brought something up about him someone said in the comments about like the quote where whatever he said about like music is just like a series of beeps i feel like it was maybe i'm getting that wrong but it's just like ugh. i hate comments like that man because it's like it's just if you can't tell when composers are being satire man like this is such i wasn't really ready for this i didn't know it was going to be like this um it's a very unique uh, compositional mind state to be able to take what we just focused on like two minutes ago, all that like that keyboard patch that synthy like almost like digital, like it, 
it feels like it's like a sci-fi 80s like digital computer sound you know and then you take that and we go somewhere and we completely crescendo the dynamic level it's like deafening like it's like it's screaming my my mix is louder than yours um i didn't want to mess with it i was like i'm just gonna take it <laughs> i'm just gonna take it and let it beat me up um it's interesting to go from that sound we were just talking about and push symphonically it up to a level that we weren't even at. And then the voice for, I, I think it's the third time goes back to that register. The melody is just completely dominating, but this, this time we put, we double it with high brass. You have all this trumpet lines going on top of it, which obviously is going to amplify what the message that you're pushing because Holy crap. And we're at the end, right? It's a, the piece is 739. We're at 702. We just finished this phrase. We're kind of, we're still at the end of a phrase. I, I did stop it a little early. We're going to go back to about the 635 point. It's probably going to be pretty loud. It'll be pretty jarring. I assume to jump back into that. But the focus here is just listening to that extreme brass line. We'll go to, we'll go to 630 even. Um, and how it's doubling with the voice. Cause that's cool. It's very cool. And remember, anytime you double stuff for it to be intonation, like the, the in tune factors, it's more, more challenging. So. You have a very exposed part, even though there's 8 million other layers going on and they're all loud. It's just, it's there. All right, here we go. I'm going to click on this. Sorry if it blows your ears out. Three, two, one. I think we missed the double part. That's okay, though. That little short staccato stuff. end with that bass drone man i wasn't i wasn't ready i didn't know i didn't know we're gonna go there i've said it before in these pieces but um as time goes by i listen to so much stuff between this and the patreon everything we're doing there's so much music in my ears and um you you can't you can't always remember the quality that someone does so when you hear it again it just it kind of hits you it hits you in the feels so for me that was an absolute win let me know what you think down in the comments below but that was that was an extremely great listen in my opinion my name is drumroll tony catch me i'm live on twitch link for all the socials down in the video description below we have lots of anime episode reactions of the patreon you should check that out thank you so much for watching click the like button if you liked it click the dislike button if you did not like it we're almost at 200k subscribers please and thank you subscribe to the channel have a great day youtube thinks you should watch this video next so glad you were here take it easy Bye bye